Did you know that the choices you make every day could be silently killing your health? Imagine if the key to unlocking peak physical and mental performance was hidden right in plain sight. You see, testosterone, a hormone produced primarily in the men's testicles, plays a critical role in our bodies. It regulates everything from our sex drive to our muscle mass and strength. But our lifestyle habits can influence these levels and you might be destroying your gains and not even know it. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to reveal what these silent killers are so you can maximize your health and keep your gains. Number 10 lack of sleep. Now in a world that never sleeps, it's so easy to neglect the importance of a good night's rest. But here's something to keep you up tonight. Lack of quality sleep can seriously sabotage your testosterone levels. It's not just about the quantity, but the quality of sleep that matters. Researchers have found that men who sleep less than 5 hours a night have significantly lower testosterone levels than those that get a full 8 hours. That's because most of the testosterone is produced during the deep restorative stages of sleep. And it's not just testosterone. Lack of sleep can disrupt various hormones in your body leading to all sorts of health problems from weight gain to mood swings. So if you've been cutting corners on your sleep, it's time to make some changes. Interestingly, I lost a few hours of sleep each night just trying to complete up to number 5 in this video for you all because it's one of the most important on the list. Number 9, Chronic Stress. We've all been in stressful situations, maybe not to this degree, but when stress takes up a permanent residence in your life, it's like a non-stop alarm bell for your body. The chronic stress prompts a surge in hormone cortisol, which unfortunately has an inverse relationship with testosterone. So when cortisol goes up, testosterone takes a nosedive. Now we all know that stress is an inevitable part of life, but how we manage it is what matters. Simple yet effective stress management techniques can make a world of difference. Number eight, excessive alcohol consumption. Can I offer you an old fashioned? How about a shot of tequila? A few drinks in moderation isn't gonna set you back. You may end up with beer goggles and going home with someone you normally wouldn't, but that's for a different channel. Excessive alcohol consumption has been linked to decreased testosterone levels. Now you're probably asking, how does this happen? Well, alcohol impacts the endocrine system, causing your testes to stop producing the hormone. It also increases the conversion of testosterone into estrogen, which is the female hormone. And let's not forget about the hangovers. Hangovers lead to junk food cravings, lack of exercise, poor sleep, and regret. I'm just gonna let that one sit there for you. Number seven is overtraining. I enjoy being active. It's, it's my zen. It's great for your health, it's great for your mood, and it's great for your testosterone levels. But like most things in life, it's possible to have too much of a good thing. Overtraining or pushing your body for too hard for too long can actually lead to a drop in testosterone levels. When you overexert yourself, your body goes to a state of stress, which we talked about earlier in this video. This can trigger the release of the hormone cortisol, which interferes with the body's ability to produce testosterone, which then becomes a vicious circle you become part of. So then you ask yourself, what's the solution? Well, it's all about balance. Your workouts should challenge you, but they shouldn't leave you feeling drained or exhausted. Listen to your body. If you're feeling worn out or if you feel like your performance is suffering, it might be time to take a step back. Now, here's a tip. Plan your workouts in advance, especially if you have a busy schedule. If you know you have events or something coming up in the future, make that your rest date and plan your workouts around that. Number six is a poor diet. It's no surprise that what you put into your body directly impacts how it functions. And this is going to include production of hormones like testosterone. Consuming too much processed foods, sugars, unhealthy fats may sound like a good time, especially if you combine it with number eight, but the trade-off is going to be lower testosterone. On the flip side, there are foods that can help boost your testosterone levels. These include lean proteins, healthy fats from sources like avocados and nuts, leafy green vegetables, and foods rich in zinc such as oysters and pumpkin seeds. I talk about these in detail in my other videos, which I'll leave a link in the description below. Number five is smoking. Smoking is like wearing sunglasses at night. It's absolutely useless. The chemicals in tobacco wreak havoc on your body, damaging your blood vessels and reducing blood flow. This, in turn, can lead to lower testosterone levels. But to add insult to injury, nicotine and other toxins in cigarettes can also have a direct negative impact on your testes. Seriously though, quitting smoking is not easy. But it's so important if you want to maintain healthy testosterone levels and an overall quality of life. Okay, I'll go ahead and get off my soapbox now. Moving on to number four. Number four, a sedentary lifestyle. Other than number seven, if I had to pick just one that I have no problem being guilty over, it's gonna be this one. But when it comes to testosterone production, your body craves movement. A sedentary lifestyle characterized by prolonged periods of inactivity, that can lead to a decrease in your testosterone levels. When you're inactive, your body's testosterone production can slow down because it's not getting the signal that it needs to work. Now don't worry, you don't have to become a marathon runner or a gym rat to get movement. Simple changes can make a big difference. Try to incorporate more movement throughout the day. This could be as simple as taking the stairs instead of the elevator, parking further away from the entrance when you go shopping, which my family absolutely loves it when I do that, or even stand up and stretching every hour if you work at a desk. Something else you can do is get outside. 
The sun is great for your testosterone production. Remember, it's not about punishing your body with intense workouts. It's about making movement a regular part of your life. Number three is high sugar intake. Sorry, buddy, but those Oreos are going to have to go. When you consume too much sugar, your body has to produce more insulin to keep the blood sugar levels in check. This increased insulin production can lead to a decrease in testosterone levels. It's not just candy bars and soda that are the culprits. Even deceivingly healthy foods like fruit juices and cereals can be loaded with sugar. Now, you might be wondering, what can we do about it? It's simpler than you think. Start by reading food labels carefully. Opt for foods that are low in sugar or low in added sugar. Swap out sodas for glasses of water or unsweetened tea. When it comes to desserts, and I'm probably going to get taken out in the back on this one, but consider dark chocolates or maybe some fruit. These small changes can make a big impact on your testosterone levels. Number two is obesity. Obesity can significantly decrease your testosterone levels. Now this might come as a surprise to some, but it is true. Studies have shown that obese men can have testosterone levels that are significantly lower than their non-obese counterparts. This happens because the fat cells metabolize testosterone into estrogen, thus reducing its overall levels. The more fat cells you have, the more testosterone you're going to lose. But it's not all doom and gloom. The good news is, is that weight loss can actually boost your testosterone levels. By losing weight, you're not just improving your physique and your overall health, but you're also giving your testosterone levels a much needed boost. So if you're carrying around a few extra pounds, consider this another reason to hit the gym and eat a balanced diet. Number one, hormonal imbalances. It's a delicate dance when the harmony is disrupted and it leads to low testosterone levels. Now you might be wondering, how does this happen? Well, there's several factors at play. First, hormones like cortisol, the stress hormone, can negatively impact testosterone production when the levels are too high. Second, the hormone insulin, which regulates blood sugar, can also interfere with testosterone production. So how do you maintain hormonal imbalance? It's a summary of everything we talked about in this video. So if you fast forwarded to this part, you're gonna have to go back and listen. Healthy lifestyle choices are key. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, adequate sleep can all contribute to a more balanced hormonal state. Remember, the body's a complex system and every part needs to be in sync for optimal health. So there you have it folks. The top 10 lifestyle habits literally destroying testosterone. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe to the channel.